why the IRA targeted Warrington, I didn't know then and I still don't know now. But then that's the random nature of terror. You just cannot comprehend how it could have happened to you or yours again because I, I often say that the odds were so very very long I can't give you any reason why it should have been my son it was a Saturday it was the day before Mother's Day it was a bright spring day Dominic our oldest child Tim our middle one and Abby had all gone out separately with their friends to to go to town and do various shopping things and um, Tim had left first he was uh, out to buy a pair of Everton football shorts, and so he was on a he was a man with a mission. Um, we'd gone to Manchester to see Wendy's parents, uh, and on the way back we hadn't had the car radio on. We didn't know there'd been a bombing, but when we drove up the driveway at home, our next door neighbours were on their drive, and they told us there'd been a bombing. From that moment on, we hurriedly accounted for our children, and we accounted for where Dominic was and where Abby was. But on ringing. Tim's friend's home, we were told that Tim's friend had been injured in the bombing. So, obviously, we became very frightened indeed. We went to the hospital, and uh, some three hours later, we met the surgeon who had been operating on Tim, and he told us that his injuries were so bad, he thought it very unlikely he'd live the night. I don't spend my time wondering why, because if I did, I wouldn't reach any conclusions that were, that were likely to be accurate. So instead, it's, it's more about dealing with the present and the future rather than querying the past.